Welcome to Luxembourg. A land of rich history and picturesque landscapes. Today, we embark on a journey through the fascinating world of railways in this enchanting country. From its humble beginnings to its modern day marvels, we'll explore the history, stations, operators, and more. Our story begins in the 19th century, when Luxembourg, a small landlocked country, made its first foray into the world of railways. The construction of the Luxembourg Railway Network began in 1855, connecting the capital city with neighboring countries and serving as a gateway to Europe for citizens of this small country. The initial goal was to facilitate trade and transport, but little did they know that these railways would go on to shape the country's development, economy, and way of life. Luxembourg became a vital link in the European railway network, connecting major cities across the continent. Today, Luxembourg boasts a modern and efficient railway system, seamlessly blending history with innovation. The country's railways are renowned for their punctuality, comfort, and extensive coverage. The network consists of 617 kilometers of track, with over 140 kilometers of it being double-tracked, and 574 kilometers of it being electrified. The standard gauge network allows it to seamlessly interconnect with the neighboring countries. Let's take a closer look at the key railway lines in Luxembourg. The backbone of the network is the North Line, connecting Luxembourg City to the northern region of the country and extending into Belgium. This line is known for its scenic routes, passing through lush green landscapes and charming towns. Another important line is the Atumuse Line, which connects Luxembourg to the south, linking it with France. This line provides easy access to the beautiful region of the Ardennes, famous for its picturesque villages and natural wonders. Luxembourg's railway stations are architectural gems that showcase the country's rich heritage, from the historic Luxembourg city station with its stunning facade and grandeur, to the sleek and modern stations in es sur alzette and Ettelbrook. Each one tells a unique story. The railway system in Luxembourg is managed by the National Rail Operator, CFL, whose non-acronym name is so complex that I will not even try to pronounce it. A unique feature of CFL's operation is that the company is 94% owned by the Luxembourg state, and then 4% of it is owned by the Belgian state, and the remaining 2% is also owned by the neighboring French state. A true showcase of Luxembourg's unique cultural heritage. Despite the country's small size, its ridership numbers are not, with over 25 million passengers in 2019, which really shows what a prized economic possession the railways are to this country. And to carry these passengers, the CFL operates a diverse fleet of trains, ranging from high-speed trains such as the famous French TGV, which is responsible for carrying passengers internationally, all the way to the local and regional services. With excellent connectivity, regular schedules, and a dense amount of rail relative to the size of the country, passengers can explore Luxembourg and the countries beyond with comfort and ease. A fantastic thing about the railway network is that the railways of Luxembourg aren't just about transportation, they offer an experience. Whether you're a local resident commuting to work, a traveler discovering the country's hidden gems, or a railway enthusiast captivated by the history and engineering marvels, Luxembourg's railways have something for everyone. As the train glides through the picturesque landscapes, you'll be mesmerized by the beauty that unfolds outside your window. From the rolling hills to the beautiful valleys, Luxembourg's railways offer a front row seat to the country's breathtaking natural wonders. And not only that, because Luxembourg made world headlines when it made the decision to make its public transport completely free to everyone. This was a massive historical decision in Luxembourg's history and also influenced many other countries to change their public transport systems. Thank you for watching my first installment of my new series, World of Trains. If you enjoyed this series, any feedback would be appreciated. I highly recommend joining the Discord server where we have many like-minded people like you who love discussing trains and transport. If you would like to support future releases, please like, subscribe, and share this video to anyone else who would enjoy it. Also, please turn on notifications or join my Discord server so you will never miss a new upload. I'm The Transit Diaries, and as always, stay tuned for more.